Richmond was probably my best experience and my best growth I've ever had um, coming in as a freshman to leaving as a senior. And it just taught me basically that I know how to fight adversity, um, how to fight for what you want, fight for what you believe in. And it's an honor and a privilege to be able to wear Richmond across your chest. Yeah, when I look back on my time at Richmond, it's, it's really the people that stand out. You know, it's the people that, you know, made this place feel like home, uh, helped deal with the homesickness and all that. And you, know, you develop a new family here and you got, you know, I still think of the guys who were, you know, five years ahead of me and Jacob Ruby, Mark Spear, guys who kind of took me under their wing and showed me how to do things. And uh, you know, I've had probably 10 or 15 roommates from this team and you know, that just brings you together in a way that I don't really think anything else does. Um, you know, carpooling to workouts at five in the morning before you go to work in the summer. You know, all that, that struggle really just brings you together and tightens up relationships in a way that I don't think I would have had. It's been crazy. Time flies. Um, five years here, I couldn't ask for a better five years with the team I've played with. I've seen places and had opportunities I never would have had. Um, and those are things I can, you know, I definitely stick with me. Uh, playing on college game day, playing across the country, and uh, just the wide range of crazy football experiences um, that I've had that are just so unique. That's what's really going to stick with me. Who could say they've been to North Dakota State? Who could say they've played at Eastern Washington? Who could say they beat JMU on college game day? Um, to be able to go to the corner finals twice, semifinals once, and just be able to look back and just look at the career that we've led and talk about leaving a legacy and leaving a place better than you found it. I think that my group, or my class did that. So I'm very blessed. It definitely shapes your, your work ethic. If you're gonna make it here, then you're gonna develop a set of skills that will take you really far in life. So you say there's like 95 people on the team, but every year you gain another 20. So I've been here for four and a half, five years. So I've gained at least a number of relationships that I just I, like my I still talk to people that were here seniors that are my, my freshman year and to be able to be now in their shoes and see freshmen come in and exceed and just see them grow is going to be like astonishing just because I'll see all those relationships that I built and just see them flourish and keep in contact with all the guys on the team. And it's just so many different type of people in that room that, you know, it just brings us even closer. We, we were literally brothers for life. Being a spider. Uh, involves being someone of high standards um, athletically, academically, and in all areas of your life. Um, a hard worker, um, someone who's dependable, and someone who, when given the opportunity, is going to, you know, they're going to go after it and they're going to be successful because we won't be denied. Hmm. Being a spider means more than just playing a sport or going to school. It's like a, it's a family. And we know that everyone has each other's backs and that when your back's against the wall, you can look right or left and someone's gonna be right there with you.